welcome to my first makeup tutorial attached to my new website, Gloss and Bone. This is where I'll be posting all of my makeup tutorials and doing a product of the month where I talk in depth about different products that I use and also the online store. So if you'd like to purchase any of the products that I use during my tutorials, just go to www.glossandbone.com and I shall see you there. So today I'm not actually going to do a makeup tutorial. I wanted to run through the different foundations that Becca do because they do a lot of different foundations, which is one of the reasons why I love this brand so much. I feel I can always find a foundation to suit everybody. So first of all, I'm going to start off with their brand new foundation, which is my favorite at the moment, which is the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. This is a full coverage foundation, which myself, I normally don't like to wear, but I'm really loving this foundation at the moment. I put it on with a beauty blender, but you can use it with the One Perfecting brush as well, which will give you a really nice coverage. Um, and I, I definitely feel like it suits oily, dry, or combination to normal skin. It, uh, I've tested it out on a lot of different people and I feel like it, it definitely sits well with it pretty much every skin type, which is great. So that's definitely for the full coverage lovers of foundation. Next is the Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation. So this is a medium coverage foundation. As the title suggests, Radiant Skin, it gives you a little bit of a luminous glow to the face. So if you're on the oily side, it's probably not the best foundation to use for you. I am on the oily side, but I do use this foundation a little bit in winter just to give me that glow that I need. And um, it, it, it is buildable as well. So you can build up coverage with it. Um, I definitely feel the best way to put this foundation on is the stippling brush from Real Techniques which I use in a couple of my makeup tutorials. So yes, so that's the Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation. So the next foundation is the Matte Skin Shine Proof Foundation. This is a lot like the Radiant Skin Foundation as in coverage. It's a medium coverage but you can build with it as well like the Radiant Skin. However, this one is definitely more suited to uh, people that have oily skin types. So it will give you a bit of a matte kind of finish to it. So it's really good in summer, definitely when you get a little bit uh, shiny in the T-zone. And just like the other foundations that I've talked about already, the Radiant Skin and the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, they all come in 20 different shades, which gives you a, a vast range of different colors to choose from when you're matching. Okay, so the last foundation is the Mineral Powder Foundation. So this is a compact powder foundation. So you can either use this just by itself, which will give you a, a bit of a medium coverage foundation. Otherwise, I like to set all of the other foundations that I've talked about in this tutorial with this foundation over the top. Whether it be you want to add a little bit more of a full coverage, so you, you do it all over the face, or I just like to do just the T-zone, just where most people get a little bit shiny during during the day. I like this powder foundation because it won't give you a very matte look like a lot of powder foundations do. It still gives you a little bit of a luminescent glow to the skin, so therefore won't be aging as well. Um, this one comes in 15 different shades as well. Okay, and there is all of the Becca foundations for you. Uh, keep in mind that down the track, if you're watching this video, things may have changed. They may have taken away or added onto their line of foundations. So, but that is what Becca has to offer at the moment, which I think is a vast foundation range that I can pretty much guarantee that will suit everybody. So I hope that was helpful for you today. If you have any further questions about any foundations or any other products that Becca do, please feel free to email me at glossandbone at hotmail.com or on my website, which is www.glossandbone.com. I'll see you soon and thanks for watching.